Welcome back to the Daily News. Stephen Murray has joined us in this new year. He is the mayor of the city of Buford. So Stephen, it's great to have you with us. Happy 2023. Robin, uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me on. Uh, ha happy new year to you and everybody at WHHI. Well, we've got a lot to talk about in our four and a half minutes, so let's just dive right into, uh, you've got a new city manager, a new planning manager. So talk about those two individuals to start us off. Yeah, I think last time we, we announced, but they, they're, uh, they're at work. So Kurt Fries, uh, our new community economic development director, started uh, last Monday. Um, so we're really excited about having uh, him in the seat. Uh, and, and moving forward, some of these uh, some of these issues we've been working around uh, development and growth management in the city. Uh, additionally, I want to give a big shout out to Bill Prokop, who's been our city manager for eight years. Uh, just a, an amazing guy that I've had the pleasure of working with. But he's retiring, and it's a well-deserved retirement. Uh, and so tomorrow we welcome Scott Marshall, uh, who's previously been the HR director over at the county, but uh, no no stranger to local government. So very excited about Scott Marshall coming in uh, and working with Reese Bertoff, our deputy city manager. We think we'll have just a dynamic leadership team. So yep. some changes at the city in terms of faces. Uh, but the the mission will, will continue Remain the, the same. same. And Bill did such a great job. Actually, I interviewed him. It was one of the first things I did when I came to WHHI four years ago. I interviewed him and, uh, you know, was enjoyed getting to meet him. All right. Also, you have a raise for the staff and employees of the of the city, right? We did. We did. We hoped to do it before Christmas, but couldn't quite pull it off. Uh, but in our first meeting of the year, council voted unanimously uh, to raise uh, all employee salaries across the entire enterprise 5% uh, and to provide a small additional contribution towards their health insurance. Our people are our most valuable asset at, at the city. Um, and so we want them to you know, feel like they're uh, well taken care of and well compensated, especially in these times of, of crazy inflation and the cost of living uh, locally. Uh, I want to point out we didn't have to raise taxes to do it. It was because of growth and, and new revenue monies. Uh, and also want to point out that neither the judges nor council, uh, we did not receive we did not receive raises, just uh, sort of frontline administrative employees uh, Very good. received the compensation increase. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Stephen. And let's let's switch gears to the bridge. Now, the feds have entered the picture and now it's even more famous. Right. And more, yeah, prote so we, uh, more protected. We Absolutely. Yeah. So we put we put the flag in that project is done. Uh, the, the federal government, National Trust, uh, accepted our nomination for the Woods Memorial Bridge to be included on the National Register. Uh, so we got notice of that about a week and a half ago. Uh, so very excited. A two and a half, almost three year project. City of Buford in partnership with the Historic Buford Foundation. This was a project that was started by my predecessor, Billy Keisling, right before he was leaving mm -hmm. office. Uh, and I also want to thank, give us thanks to citizens who raised the money, uh, all the money to hire the consultant to make the nomination uh, was through private donations um, through our Pride of Place program. So, so excited that that will put an additional veil of protection over that over yes. the Woods Bridge. Oh, that's very exciting. Now let's uh, switch gears to this weekend, the twentieth, uh, the twenty-first of uh, January, third weekend in the month, and big old Oyster Festival, right? Is, is it on Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday? So it's two, two of my favorite things. It's uh, Saturday and Sunday, although okay. there is a, a sort of VIP sponsor party on Friday night. Uh, we also got the restaurant week going on where many of our restaurants mm -hmm. have oyster specials. So two, two of my favorite things in the Low Country <laughs> Festival and oysters uh, are combining. Uh, so we hope folks will come out. Uh, last year was just awesome with a, a bunch of different oyster cookers and ways to prepare oysters. There is a competition and a contest. So we'll be announcing the winner of the contest on Saturday at 3 p.m. Uh, but folks, you just Google search Buford Oyster Fest. It, it'll come up. Uh, but hope to see everybody in the park on Saturday. Uh, enjoying beautiful low country weather and, and eating those tasty bi bivalves. <laughs> and you can, they, they come every steamed and fried and every which way. Fire roasted, <laughs> steamed, <laughs> roasted, fried, raw. oyster rice. Uh, <laughs> and then there will be some non oyster food too mm -hmm. for the for the non seafood seafood lovers. So hopefully a little something for everybody uh, in addition to some really great live music in our Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park. All right, very good. Thank you, Stephen Murray, always giving us a fantastic update for this first uh, appearance of you in 2023. And that's a wrap for this edition of the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to thank the team behind the scenes that make all of this possible. And don't forget, if you have missed any part of our newscast, well, you can catch it all in another 90 minutes. Stay safe and healthy. Bye, everyone.